Trains and buses, games and songs, come join us and sing along. Transit Talks is where I'll be, the coolest place in NYC. Welcome to Transit Talks. Hello and welcome to Transit Talks. My name is Ramona and I work at the New York Transit Museum in Brooklyn, New York where we talk about all things transportation. I'm so excited that you decided to join us today. Do you know what we like to do when we get together for Transit Talks? We like to sing the hello song. So I'm going to sing the first two verses of how I'm feeling and the third verse, I'll leave it blank so you can tell me how you're feeling, okay? So let's sing the hello song together. Hello, hello, hello and how are you? I'm happy, I'm happy, I hope that you are too. Hello, hello, hello and how are you? I'm silly, I'm silly, I hope that you are too. Now it's your turn to tell me how you're feeling, okay? Hello, hello, hello and how are you? I'm and I hope that you are too. Thank you for singing that song. I want to sing another song with you. It's called, I've Got So Much To Give. So this song has some hand movements to it and I'll show you how to sing it. And then the second time you can sing it with me if you like, okay? I've got so much to give. I've got so much to give. This is a life that I was born to live and I've got so much to give. I breathe in. I breathe out. I breathe in. I breathe out. Every breath I take is something new. And I've got so much to share with you. I've got so much to give. I've got so much to give. This is a life that I was born to live and I've got so much to give. Do you want to try and sing it with me now? Let's sing it together. I've got so much to give. I've got so much to give. This is a life that I was born to live and I've got so much to give. I breathe in. I breathe out. I breathe in. I breathe out. Every breath I take is something new. And I've got so much to share with you. I've got so much to give. Thank you for singing with me. I hope you like that song. So friends, today we are going to talk about a word that is called gratitude. Can you say that word with me? Gratitude. Now you might wonder, what is gratitude? Gratitude is something that you do. So, if you're grown up or someone in your family gives you a snack, you might say thank you, right? You saying thank you is telling them that you appreciate the snack that they gave you. But with gratitude, you do something extra with that thank you. So you might say thank you and also give that family member a cuddle. That's how you show gratitude, okay? So I want to read one book. And this book is Don't Let the Pigeon Drive the Bus. You might know this one. Words and Pictures by Mo Willems. In this book, a lot of people enjoyed reading it. It's a Caldecott honor book. So it has this, you can see it has this award right here. So the thing I like about this book is you can say no. <laughs> and this pigeon is going to try to convince you to ride the bus, drive the bus. And anytime he says something, just say no to him, okay? Hi, I'm the bus driver. Listen, I've got to leave for a little while. So, can you watch things for me until I get back? Thanks. Oh, and remember, don't let the pigeon drive the bus. I thought 
he never leave. Hey, can I drive the bus? No. Please, I'll be careful. No. I tell you what, I'll just steer. My cousin Herb drives the bus almost every day. No. <laughs> True story. No. <sighs> Let's play Drive the Bus. I'll go first. No. <laughs> Come on, just once around the block. No. I'll be your best friend. How about I give you five bucks? No. No fear. I bet your mom would let me. No. What's the big deal? It's just a bus. I have dreams, you know. No. Fine. Let me drive the bus. No way. Mm -mm, no way. How do you think the pigeon feels that we told him no? I'm back. You didn't let the pigeon drive the bus, did you? Nope. Great. Thanks a lot. Uh-oh. Like the pigeon is thinking about doing something. I wonder what it is. I hope you all enjoyed the book. <laughs> Don't let the pigeon drive the bus. So, here in New York City, the MTA, the Metropolitan Transportation Authority, has a lot of people that work for it that help New Yorkers to get where they need to go all around the city. And we want to show them how much we appreciate them by sharing our gratitude with them. I want to introduce you to one of my friends. His name is Keston. He's a bus operator. And he's going to tell us a little bit about his job and what he does. My name is Keston Bethany, and I'm an MTA bus operator. Uh, I've been driving the bus for seven years now. And right now I'm driving the bus as, as, as we speak. You can see. I drive the B57. That goes down Flushing Avenue. Uh, my favorite part of being a bus driver is meeting new people and talking to people on the bus. Um, we have nice conversations. Um, I make them laugh. They make me laugh. So that gets me part of, get me through the part of my day, is to meet new people and have come and get to talk to them. What the communities do to make me happy is having a smile on their faces. That's make me show me that they're happy, that, that I'm doing my part to make them happy, and we're all happy together. So MTA is going your way. <laughs> But have a good day, lady. Bye. 
Thank you so much, Keston, for telling us all about being a bus operator. And we want to share our gratitude with Keston and the rest of the bus operators that work in New York City for the MTA. So on the count of three, we are all going to say thank you as loud as we can. If your grown-up says it's okay. Okay, so on the count of three, one, two, three. Thank you! We appreciate all the work that our bus operators do for us here in New York City. So today, we sang two songs, we read a book, we met a bus operator, and we shared our gratitude with them. You can always show gratitude at home when somebody does something for you. You can let them know how much you appreciate it. Thank you so much for coming to Transit Talks, and I hope to see you all again soon. Bye!